what's going on guys let's go ahead and draw the asm chart for this given state diagram okay let's go and draw the first one so here when the state is a this is uh, you can see one zero if it's one one the first number is always c this is the first number is z1 the second number is c2 okay here you can see one zero the other one is zero so we don't have to mention that one but the first one exists so we put z1 right here okay and after that here you can see this is a more diagram if it's merely the difference between merely and more is merely usually expressed like one slash one or one slash zero one like if it's two decimal binary something like that okay but for this one it just expressed one number it means it's a more the difference between mealy and more is when we have mealy and the output is above zero we have to put a conditional box but here this is a more we don't have to even worry about that okay we can directly connect them now let's go ahead and continue okay if you want to know the difference between mealy and more i have created a bunch of i have created a bunch of videos on state diag i mean asm chart you can go ahead and watch them now here we have z1 this is a from a we have to see what are the things that's going outside and there are two in the decision box we will have 0 and 1 the input is x this is 0 this is 1 now let's see here when the input is 0 it goes to a a1 1 0 Oh, it means it goes back to A. So I just connect it right here. When the input is 1, it goes to B. C2. It goes to B. Then... <clears throat> This is Z1, comma, C2. One second. Who is that? Okay, so here we have 0 and 1. When it's B and the uh, input is 0, it goes back to B. So we connect this one straight right here. And when the input is 1, it goes to C. This is our C. So I connect this one like this. Then I create another decision box 0 and 1 and for this one when the input is 0 it goes to B Then uh, when the input is 1 it goes to A so I connect it right here and that's it That's how we draw the ASM chart for the given state diagram and that's how we do that i hope you guys find this video helpful thanks for watching and if you are trying to learn digital logic design 2 or computer architecture there are a bunch of videos in my playlist i hope you guys watch that too don't forget to subscribe see you next time